So the other day I logged onto Roblox Studio for the first time in like a month. And the first thing I see is all this brand new UI. It looks a lot cleaner, it looks a lot more modernized, and it definitely suits the new modern, clean look of Roblox games now. Although it is very generic and it looks like a lot Bruh. of other softwares. I think Roblox is trying to show the world that it's not just a platform for little babies anymore. And I like it, I think it looks really good. But with this update comes a quick tour to learn how to create your first playable experience. So we're going to be taking this tour today and see if it's any good or not. Let's see if we can make a game. Alright, so click start learning. And it looks like it takes us to the modern city template. Topic 1 out of 8, navigation. Use WASD keys to move. Whoa. Nice. So I guess it's telling us, like, you're brand new to Roblox. It's telling you how to get... Like, use the controls and stuff. Use E and Q to pan up and down. I actually didn't know that. I never knew you can use E and Q to pan. Okay, you can zoom in. Scrolling with your mouse wheel. Yep, yep. Rotating the camera. Oh, I did that already. And now we're going to learn about the marketplace. So the marketplace contains assets that you can add to your game. So it wants us to look for a car, uh, but it's way too small. I can't search for anything. The tutorial is not teaching me how to make the toolbox any bigger, so... And I'm a new player, I don't know how to make this bigger. I'm gonna have to look it up. How to make the Roblox toolbox bigger. Right, it says, point your mouse towards the toolbox's borders, and once the cursor icon changes to an icon that looks like there's two arrows, drag it to make it bigger. Oh, I see now. Alright. So this tutorial is already getting deducted points for not teaching me how to make the toolbox bigger. Like if I was a new player, I would be stuck right here. I'd have to give up on my dreams of becoming a game developer just because of that. Alright, it wants us to search for a car. It's kind of boring. What about Skibbity Toilet? Okay. Bruh. Nice, this is Skibbity Toilet. Let's drag it into our game. Yes, I inserted it. Oh, it wants me to click it. Okay, it doesn't want me dragging it. Oh, and it's immediately placed right here. All right. Now let's insert a wedge. Because parts are the basic building block in Studio. So we're going to click on this arrow. And then we're going to insert a wedge. Where'd it go? I saw it for like half a second. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Select the move tool. And then... Click and drag the blue and red handles to move the wedge along the road in front of the car. Okay, in front of the car. Um, alright, there, now it's in front of the car. Oh, the other car. Okay, I get it now. I'm not gonna use these dumb arrows. I'm just gonna click on it and drag it over here. Where does it want- where, where am I supposed to place this? Oh, okay. Great. Select the rotate tool and drag the green handle to turn the wedge th so the tit faces the car. The tit. Fix your grammar, Roblox. Billion dollar corporation can't even spell. Jeez. Okay, let's rotate it. Nice. Select the scale tool and then click and drag the handles to make the wedge big enough for the car to drive over. That is that big enough for you? And I guess it should be th thicker as well. Fantastic! All right, let's change the color of the ramp. Um, kind of like this color, but whatever. I guess it'll just be slightly darker. The ramp isn't anchored. It will move when you try to drive over it. Click anchor to make it anchored. Okay, so I actually really like that they went over that because back when I was first starting Roblox. For the longest time, I would only use the toolbox to insert models and things. I had no idea how to anchor things or do anything. I was like eight years old, probably. And I love to make obbies and things. And if the model wasn't anchored and it just like fell over, I would have to keep going through the toolbox until I found a model that I liked and that was anchored. Because I never knew how to, like, anchor things. So I really like that they're going over that. Okay. Anyway. 
Explorer displays everything in your place. Uh huh. And the workspace displays everything in your 3D world. I like that they're going over this as well because when I first started Roblox, I had no idea. Now that its ramp is complete, it's time to customize it. Select the car. Okay. When the car selected, press F. That's a useful tip. I like that. Attributes. Properties window. Uh huh. Uh huh. Change the max speed. You can add custom data to objects using attributes. Type max speed speed into the filter properties box oh this is cool so they have attributes and stuff i like that it makes it easier for new players to customize things without going into the script i'm gonna make it 8 million whoa that's fast all right and now let's go ahead and play test let's check out our new game that we just made control your avatar use w a s and d i feel like if you're learning roblox studio you probably have a basic knowledge of how to use Roblox already, so I feel like that's, like you've probably played games before, right? Enter the car and press E. And go for it. What am I going for? Uh-oh, I selected everything. God, I hate it when I do that. Let's try this car. Whoa, that's fast. Oh, and this flipped over. Okay. Oh, they have like flipping, um... They have flipping features. Let's see, I want to ramp out of the map. Okay, I flipped it again. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. You completed the Roblox Studio Tour. Continue building here or visit the dashboard to choose a different template place. And that's it. So that was actually a really good quick introduction to Roblox Studio. Although I would say it's quite unrealistic to insert a model and then just like go into max properties, max speed, and then have your game like instantly work like that. But like it is a good uh, intro, like I said. And I th it's just good to like encourage players to mess around on their own and learn the platform through experimentation rather than just watching a YouTube tutorial. Unlike all you idiots who are subscribed to my channel. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to be trying more Roblox tutorials soon. So be sure to stick around if you're excited for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Whenever that may be. See you.